close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay focused with the breath. Don't focus on anything else. Follow the breath all the way in, all the way out, and keep your mind right here. You've got to get some control over your mind, because the mind is a determining, determining factor in where you're going to go. The things you do, the things you say, the things you think, they all come out of your intentions. Your intentions come out of the mind. And if the mind is not trained, its intentions go all over the place. And where you're going to go, it goes all over the place. It can't be relied on whether you go in the right direction. As the Buddha said, people in the world are, are four types. Those who are born in darkness and go in darkness. Those who are born in darkness and go in light. Those who are born in light and go in darkness. And those who are born in light and go in light. Whether you're born in darkness or light depends on the conditions in which you're born. Depends on your past karma. Born into a family of good position, you've got a complete body, you have lots of opportunities for education and advancement. Okay, that's being born in light. Being born in darkness is you don't have those advantages. But that doesn't pretend, prevent you from going in light. Just because you're born in darkness doesn't mean you have to go in darkness. Going in darkness means not observing the precepts, not practicing the Dharma, creating lots of more bad karma for yourself. And the fact that you're born in light doesn't guarantee that you're going to go in light either. Sometimes people are born in light and they start misbehaving pretty early on. They get careless. They think that everything that comes their way is something they deserve, and so they don't do anything, anything special to make sure they're not just using up their old karma. The world measures us, or tends to measure us, by how we come, where we come from, whether we're born in darkness or born in light. But the Dharma measures us in how we go. That's something we can choose to do, but it depends on the minds being trained. Because you can go in light for a while, and then you can turn around and go into darkness. It is possible. You want to make sure that your actions all lead to light. In other words, actions that are not harmful to yourself, not harmful to others. Actions that are beneficial to yourself and beneficial to others. In other words, you yourself observe the precepts, that's beneficial to yourself. You get others to benefit to observe the precepts too, that's beneficial for them. You're generous, that benefits you. You get other people to be generous, that benefits them as well. And this way you help other people go in light as well. And the more people go in light, the brighter the world is going to be. Because the world is brightened or darkened not by physical light, it's brightened or darkened by our actions. So it has to start with each of us. Each of us has to be responsible for our own selves. As John Swat once said, each of us has only one person that we're responsible for. That's ourselves. We may have children. We're responsible for our children up to a point. But then it comes to a point where they become their own independent agents. In the meantime, you try to train them well. And the best way to do that, of course, is to be a good example. So it keeps coming back to you, what you're doing, saying, and thinking, and that keeps coming back to your mind. So you want to make sure the mind is trained so that when you tell it to do something, it does what you want it to do. It doesn't come up with reasons for going off and doing something that's going to be less skillful. This is one of the reasons why we meditate, is to get some control over the mind. Because if you can't control your own, own mind, what are you going to be able to control in life? And what hope is there for a bright future? The brightness of the future, the brightness of where you're going, comes out of the brightness of your intentions. That's something everybody has the chance to choose. So make that choice and stick with it. So that regardless of how you came, how you were born, make sure that you go in light. You brighten yourself, and as the Buddha said, you brighten the world like a moon at night that's been released from a cloud. Brightens the world below. Brightens the world all around. <laughs>